Hey guys, so I am filming on a new camera lens, so let me know if the lighting is off or if you would want it to be a bit brighter. I just did the settings, but I, I thought it was way too bright and you weren't going to be able to see all the color that I'm putting on my face. And again, I don't wear much makeup as it is, so as the camera kind of washes colors out and stuff, so it looks way different in person. But anyway, um, today's video, I have been in the sun as of late, taking Jelly and Leander to the pool. So I've gotten a bit darker. Uh, my face doesn't look it because I wear SPF. Um, but uh, I've had to use a darker foundation or mixed foundations and started using bronzer uh, just to, so that it all meshes with the rest of my body. So um, I thought that I would film a tutorial uh, and talk about bronzy skin, the way I like to bronze my skin, the more natural sort of way. So the way that I make my skin look bronze and I also really like that sunburned look. So I thought I'd try to show you guys how I get that look because a lot of you have been asking me on Insta stories how I get it all done. So um, I've already moisturized my face, where is it? With my La Mer moisturizing cream. Uh, what else? I have this massive uh, bump here. I don't, you, I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, it's that time of the month. So that little sucker crept out. And I'm going to use some SPF. This is the Glossier Invisible Shield SPF 35. And I've raved about this stuff. You guys already know. It's pretty much all I've been using when it comes to you know, SPF. I even use it on the back of my hands. That's how just lightweight and, and creamy it is. It's literally like a, a serum kind of texture. It's so weird to describe and it's hydrating. It isn't greasy at all. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It has this really nice like citrusy scent to it. Now for foundation, I am using my La Mer Soft Fluid foundation in 43 honey this on its own is a bit too dark for me so i used to mix it with my skin tint uh in what is it dark i think dark yeah i'm dark in the glossier skin tint uh but now i could just wear it on its own because i am a bit uh darker so i'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and just do this foundation for the most part is blended and i know that that one's a pretty pricey one but it is so worth it. I love that damn foundation. It's so good. Um, so that is it for base. Let me get something to wipe this crap off. Also, a lot of you have been asking me about like how I do this messy ponytail, I don't know, low thing. It's pretty much how I wore my hair all throughout uh, when I was in the UK and in Paris. It's just too damn hot to to do anything else to straighten it. I don't have the patience for it. Uh, and I kind of like this this look since I can't do like my traditional hair tucks because my, my hair isn't long anymore. Uh, I used to love tucking my hair into like shirts or blazers or anything like that. So this messy low bun situation thing, um, I'm all for it. Oh, too bright in that area. Just gonna double click and put some underneath here. And this is super lightweight, really nice. Use your finger. Um, I just don't wanna dirty my hands anymore, but I will just blend that out and kind of drag it down a little bit so that it blends in. And then with the side that I did my foundation, kind of go around the edges so that it doesn't look super stark, you know, Kim Kardashian style. I don't like that style. Sometimes dark circles peek through, but I don't mind that. I kind of like the grungy, I haven't slept for a little bit kind of look. So I'm going to take a little bit of the stretch concealer now in dark and go over this freaking bad boy. 
Holy cow. It's like one of those that like don't surface. It's just a bump and the shit hurts really bad. That's what it's been. And I mean, now it's starting to go down. It's not that bad anymore, but oh, yeah. So anyway, what, what did I finish about the hair? Um, I'll do a tutorial for you guys. If you guys want that, let me know. Uh, it's literally, it takes all of two seconds and all you need is a curling iron and a straightener and some texturizing spray. Cause that's all I put in my hair. Any, I mean, I have some spots going on right here. Do I really want to cover them? Not really, but for the sake of this tutorial, <laughs> we'll just do this. I don't mind that they show. I really don't care. It's the next thing I've been doing, some powder. So I've been using this Bourjois uh, Healthy Balance Powder in, I think this is 55, yeah. I don't know if this is the darkest shade that they do, but I picked it up when I was in London. But I'll get the tip of my nose around this part of my face, underneath my eyes, a little bit. It doesn't cling to dry patches, and as the day goes on, it just looks that much better. So, a really good powder. I like that. You know what it is? It makes me think of the Charlotte Tilbury powder for bronzer. I like a red toned bronzer because again, I really like that sunburned kind of look. I want it to look like I was in the sun. One bronzer that I've been loving and that I use most often or what I've been reaching for is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzing Powder. And this is in Radiant Bronze Light. <laughs> Jeez, that was a mouthful. Anyway, it looks like this. It's like this just marbleized Oh, it's gorgeous. It has that ready undertone that I'm looking for. So I normally take it on a NARS, this Yachio brush, and this is what I do. Just take a little bit and go around where the sun would hit. So all around my forehead. Let me pull my hair back. Do this. And just instant, like you can see the difference already. Such a good powder. I love it. And I also feel like you can't go overboard with it. Or at least in my case. So it gives you that like ruddy color. So I stick to the forehead around the hairline and kind of bring it down onto the forehead. And then what I like to do is kind of go over the cheeks. So not necessarily where I would contour, but I bring it a little bit higher up onto the cheeks. And right now it's looking like it's a ton, but I promise you it's not. And you can just go over it with a beauty blender and mesh it all together. But. Gonna dust it there. And then I also take it on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, because that's naturally the sun would hit. And kind of over top here. Not sure what this area of your face would be considered as, but you know, sometimes we get we get a little sunburn here. A bit on the chin. And then just bring whatever's left down onto the neck and just instantly, you're bronzed. I love it. Freaking love it. And I only like using bronzer in the summer. Like I feel weird if I use it in the winter, unless, you know, I, I went on vacation or something like that and I need to use bronzer. But I mean, for the most part, do I look muddy on camera? Oh shit. Does it look muddy? <laughs> I wish you guys can tell me. I don't know what's going on with this lighting situation, but bam, brown skin. There we go. Oh, because the powder is so sheer and lightweight, it doesn't cling to anything, even though I didn't powder in those areas, uh, which is why I love it so freaking much. Now, uh, for blush, what I tend to reach for is like a red kind of shade or an orangey kind of shade. If you're paler, you would probably want to go for a peach. Um, 
You can go for like a peachy or an orangey color. You can even do the red. Anybody can do the red. But I think peaches flatter a, a more paler complexion. Even use a red lipstick if you wanted to, like a matte lipstick if you didn't have a red blush. If it was too drying for you and mix it with like your moisturizer and make a, you know, your own cream blush formula or with uh, a primer of sorts like the Marc Jacobs coconut primer that I use all the time, you can mix, put some uh, lipstick, like you would put it on the back of your hand, put a little bit of a cream foundation, whatever, mix it and dab it on the cheeks and it would stay put. But this one I picked up when I went to the UK. And this is the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in the shade Soft Candy. And it looks scary as hell in this little pot, but I promise you it's really sheer. And I love a good cream blush. So I get on my ring finger. So this is my first layer. And this is really nice because you could put this over top of powders and it blends like a dream. I'm just gonna grab the tiniest amount and this is when I will put it in this area. So already it's giving you that sun-kissed look. And you go over the bridge of the nose with this because that's naturally again where the sun would hit. But this is where you would go in if you felt like it and faux freckle. I love faux freckles. I know they're not for everyone. Um, but there's just something really youthful about them, like I've said in the past. And if you do them right, they look natural as hell. So um, I'm going to do that. And I've done it so many times on camera, I've shown you guys. So I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. And I also use the shade Auburn, which is like a and has a warmer base to it because freckles are or aren't um, just one color. Okay, now that that is done, um, you can leave it there. You can keep going. I haven't worn eye makeup in months. And as of late, I have been dabbing a little bit of the bronzer on my eyelids or taking a pencil. You guys asked in my haul video what was it that I was wearing? And what I did was I took a little bit of, no, it was Kevin O'Quan's eyeliner. It's just a brown eyeliner and took a angled brush and kind of dragged it out. I've shown you guys that technique before. And sometimes I like to do like a light wing. Just a little bit of bronzer on my eyelid. So I'm just gonna take it with my finger and do that. I honestly, since doing lash extensions, and I still have them in, I've been doing them since January and it's now July. I'm obsessed with them. Um, I know they're not for everyone. I think you need to find somebody you connect with and someone you trust and someone who knows what they're doing. And my girl is, she is amazing. Now eyebrows, I haven't really been doing much to them. I don't really need to, to be honest. I have a few like patches or areas where I need filling in so I'm just gonna brush them up and then with this look I also like them really brushed up and super feathery uh, so what I'm gonna do is just brush them up with a spoolie like this fill in some areas that need filling in so just the front here I'm gonna take my brow gel and this is the Charlotte Tilbury one in clear and just let's do this this is how I keep them all brushed up ours uh, red square right and just put it on the center of my mouth like this see now, I'm just going to use my finger and pat that in. I use this Amravitska Queen of Hungry Mist and spritz my face. And I like the, the nozzle on this. It really, it controls the amount 
of uh, spray that comes out, which is really nice. And it's a really nice fine mist. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, so that's it. Bronze, sunny, or sun-kissed skin. That wasn't really hard, right? Um, real simple. I know it seems like a lot of steps. I literally do this in like two seconds. It doesn't take me much. I just, my brain starts to go nuts and I just start to spew out the mouth and talk to you guys. So, um, that's why this is so long. But no, seriously, this, it literally takes me a few minutes to get this done. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.